Hello, how's it going? And welcome to the unboxing of Messiah of Evil. So, just picked this one up. It's out on Monday. This is the um, limited edition with the rigid slip box from um, Radiance. Um, yeah, it's a good movie. I have seen this one before. Um, from 1973, um, runs at 90 minutes. It's about a young woman's father who's been writing her um, letters talking about, you know, doom and gloom and strange things in the town where he lives. So the young woman goes to stay at her father's place in, in a coastal town, you know, a seaside town, and um, starts to experience some strange goings on, uh, meets a couple of odd people. And um, when she's out and about in the town, strange things start to occur. And yeah, it, it happens that a court have um, taken over and um, they're basically... Um, turning the um, townspeople into like flesh devouring um, zombies of some sort i really enjoyed messiah of evil um never heard too many many people talk about it so and um i'd heard it was good but not too many people always talk about it and then um i watched it on um the streaming service shudder a few years back and um really enjoyed it good um 70s sort of eerie um film Nice bit of suspense in there, some good violence, gore, good storyline. Um, yeah, really intriguing film, and I'm looking forward to seeing it on um, Blu-ray. It's a new scan, new 4K scan onto an um, Blu-ray. Lovely set here. Never had a Radiance Films release before, but don't normally go. Their titles that they put out aren't normally that appealing to me as a film collector. I like mainly horror stuff, so. But this one, I just saw it and I thought, yeah, Messiah of Evil, um, I've wanted it for a while on Blu-ray. Soon after I watched it, I wanted it on Blu-ray. Um, I think the American label and Code Red have put it out before. Either Scorpion or Code Red. I think it might be Code Red who have put Messiah of Evil out. But it goes for silly money. And this set was like £22. So I was like, well, instead of paying 40 for a Region A release, I'll just wait till this set comes out. I pre-ordered it ages ago. There's the um, little wraparound piece of paper with the specs on. And the information we'll take a good look at the set momentarily there's a little look at what you've got the synopsis basically what i went over a woman travels to a sleepy seaside town to find her father who has been writing letters spelling doom upon arrival she soon discovers the town is under the influence of a strange cult that weeps tears of blood and hunger for human flesh it's got audio commentaries, audio essays, quite a lot of special features there. In fact, a fair few. Limited edition to 3,000 copies. It's got a number 28 there for Radiance. I think that must be their limited editions or something. Not too sure on that one. Yep, loads of special features, video essay and things like that and all sorts. New 4K scan of the best surviving elements of the film from the Academy Film Archive. Cool, so good bit of information there. Very simplistic look to the set. As you can see, it's just black with the um, face with these tears of blood that the synopsis was talking about. Some really cool scenes in Messiah of Evil as well. Like um, the, the young woman, I can't quite remember the character's name, but she's in the cinema at some point in the town and it's empty and all these weird people, it keeps filling up behind her. So she sat watching the movie and there's just people filtering in, these weird zombie-like people keep filtering in. And things progress and then she eventually she's just surrounded by weird people like who want to devour her. There's a good scene in the supermarket. I can remember. Okay, let's take a look at the set. Yeah, very um, simplistic design. Lovely set though, I mean the black looks great. So you get one of these nice MRA, MRA cases, a bit like what sort of um, 101 films do and the Indicator Limited Editions do them. That's the artwork with the woman at the window, like a stainless glass window. Um, very simplistic again. Similar thing on the back. Don't know if there's alternative art. Ah, it's got the alternative artwork. I don't know. I, I quite like the alternative artwork from Messiah of Evil, actually. Well, the original artwork. I'll take that out and give you a look. There's the disc. Looks really cool. Just simplistic again. The whole design to this um, set's very simplistic. I do like it. Good price as well for a limited edition. Can't complain with the pricing. 
there's the original artwork the alternative cover as you can see their messiah of evil i might go for that because i do really like that artwork the other one's nice but it's a little simplistic so i'll show you what the alternative um original theatrical or what have you artwork looks like there we go so looks really nice and actually close it there we are. i'm going to stick with that i think that looks a little bit better the other one was nice and suited the design of the set you know aesthetically but a little bit simplistic for me so i thought i'd go with this one a couple of scenes from the film yeah brilliant scene as i described in the cinema and a brilliant one in the supermarket and the house is really creepy where she stays this one's got a sort of like very like tense kind of slow burn sort of like creepy feel to it there's some really creepy bits in it you know if you want to get creeped out by a film sire of evil is not a bad um way to go so you get this lovely book perfect bound book 80 pages brilliant design on the back that artwork looks utterly fantastic spellbounding um sign of evil so we'll take a look at the book just a little look a bloody hand casting crew yeah there she is in the cinema i wonder if it'll show you how it fills up you'll see for yourself if you pick up this release anyway supermarket scene with the word people Posters for some other movies, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, um, one called Sunset Boulevard, Detour and Let's Scare Jessica to Death, which is another really good creepy little slow burn film. Loads of essays. Pictures there from the movie. There they are. Not too many photographs so far in this book. Ah, here we go. Looks like we're going to get some now. That's so cool when that happens. Yeah, in the part of the um, building where she's staying, like her father's house. There's also some like squatters there or something. You'll see when you watch it, if you haven't seen it. But yeah, they start um, climbing up to the roof and like banging on the glass and things. Really quite eerie. There she is, the young woman. More essays. talking about the witch that came from the sea and the fog there obviously ties into what they're talking about kind of probably doing some comparison um notes or something carnival of souls another black and white classic this isn't black and white by the way i just said another black because it is another black and white classic out there with things like night of the living dead and psycho and whatnot but this is um all color baba yaga i do have that i've never watched it um i think that's not sure about that one. Is it the Mario Barber film? Yeah, Five Dolls for an August Moon then, that one. It's not a bad film, actually. I quite like that one. There's the M Cinema. With that brilliant scene I was talking about. Uh, Dunwich Horror, Haunted Palace. The animated one. More essays. The cinema scene. There you go. Really creepy scene, probably the best scene of the film in my opinion. I'm gonna, I'm looking forward to revisiting this one. Um, more essays and text. Da, 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 da. What that is? Oh, just a little misprint there. Yeah, excellent book. Look forward to reading that. So. There you go, there you have it, Messiah of Evil. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. And this looks like the release to get. I think this is sold out now. Um, limited to 3,000 copies. Um, they are reissuing it in November. They're bringing out a standard edition, which will be this. I think it has this artwork on it, though. Like that artwork, but on the um, Amory sleeve. So they are reissuing the film. Radiance are, they're bringing out like a standard edition, you know, just the Amory case with the cover. But this is the um, limited edition. You get that, your Amory case with um, reversible artwork. And your disc, it's a one disc set, 80 page book. 
little information and label there and your hardbound set which looks really nice yeah excellent film as well really looking forward to revisiting it okay that's the end of the video um okie dokie yeah um you got any comments on messiah of evil let me know um i think the film is pretty darn good i enjoyed it a lot it was a first time watch for me as well when i did um, view it so yeah any comments on the film let me know and um i'll get back to you and thanks for watching and i'll be back with some more content next week i believe she'll be back next week with something okay thanks for watching bye